The day after Veterans Day, a former Army captain is awarded the nation's highest military honor. Captain Florent Grober and, gave, and five other soldiers were on a security detail in Afghanistan about three years ago. As Catherine Zeltner reports from the White House tonight, a deadly ambush began to unfold. Catherine? Brian, Captain Grober is only the 10th living American to receive the Medal of Honor for service in Afghanistan. To his family and friends, the 32-year-old is better known as Flo. It's clear from his interviews and the award ceremony today, he is one humble soldier. You know, you're going to ask your yourself, why am I here and they're not? And that's a tough question. Born in France, Florent Groberg is now an American hero. On August 8, 2012, the U.S. Army captain tackled a suicide bomber while serving in Afghanistan. You just react and you, you trust your instincts and you go out there and you do what you're trained to do and you do your job. Groberg saved many soldiers, but not all. Next thing you know, I'm, I got four guys who are not here today. I got four families that don't have a father, a son, a brother, a husband. Flo's courage left him severely wounded. His injuries include loss of nearly half his left calf muscle, a blown eardrum, and a mild traumatic brain injury. I'm here. I'm talking to you. I'm telling the story, and you know they, they want to, you know, give me a medal for it. Belong medal doesn't belong to me. It belongs to those four guys. Three years and 33 surgeries later, the Army captain receives the top military award at the White House. On his very worst day, he managed to summon his very best. That's the nature of courage, not being unafraid, but confronting fear and danger and performing in a selfless fashion. Always carrying the fallen soldiers with him, Captain Groberg now has a new mission. Live your life now, not just for yourself, but for them. Be a better person. You're given a second chance. Earn it. Captain Groberg is retired from the U.S. Army now. He's said over and over his Medal of Honor is for those soldiers who did not make it out alive. That is how Groberg copes with their loss. Brian. Catherine Zeltner at the White House. Thank you, Catherine.